What is up, so real gang? How are we doing today? Let's get into the video. The other day, Corey stated that he wanted to get his boys together because their birthdays was coming up. He even got his first son, Aiden. He stated that him and Danny were going to throw the kids a birthday party together because his son's birthday and Danny's daughter's birthday are not too far apart. People were wondering if Carmen was going to allow the boys to go over there, especially now that he's with Danny. And he states that he is stable and ready to get the boys. And Danny is supportive and comfortable with that decision. Carmen took to Twitter and stated, I don't post my kids, not because I don't have them, but because I protect them from y'all evil people who don't mind saying negative shit about kids. And I know me, when it comes to my kids, I'm going to get out of character. My kids are with me 24-7, well taken care of. Have a good weekend. Then she quickly changed it from that and took out the fact that her kids was with her 24-7 and kept everything else. While all of that is going on, Corey's on Instagram letting it be known that his first son and Danny's kids has finally met each other. Then they all went out to eat together and went to Six Flag and they had a great old time. But you guys leave your comments down below and let us know what you think. I'm announced to one us on the 11th. That's my son's birthday. That's CJ birthday. And y'all, I need all my fans. We ain't on no negativity. Bro, can we all cross our fingers and can we all pray to God and just hope that I can see my kids on his, my, my son on his birthday, bro? Because Ada's birthday was yesterday and I'm finna go get, pick him up tomorrow. Me and um, Danny throwing a birthday party for the kids. Her daughter birthday uh, finna come up also this weekend. So they coming up here this weekend. So Aiden go have a, a, a nice sad birthday party and everything. We're gonna take him out tomorrow and and saturday but i really want to be able to see my son on his birthday that's all i want you know what i'm saying and shout out to danny you know what i'm saying because she the one who made sure that um i had a party and everything with her daughter um with, for my son she was like you know what i want i want to do a party for him i love danny man she like that's a bro let me tell you i love that woman that woman yeah, she she thuggish i love her let's get into crystal the other day was Crystal's birthday, and Polo G's mother sent Crystal some beautiful flowers. And you guys know her boo, Ed, even gave her a cute little shout out on Instagram. He stated, you the biggest, that's why they hate. Long story short, happy birthday, a million more to come. You guys all know supporters didn't like the fact that while Crystal was out for her birthday or posting her little gifts and birthday shout outs that they didn't see Ed around. You guys all know supporters are going to be wondering, what did he get Crystal for her birthday? She didn't post about it. I will say Crystal is a poster, but since she's been with Ed, she's been a little bit more private. But it's, you guys all know Crystal takes her birthday very serious. So it seems like it may be a little trouble in paradise for Crystal and Ed. They both were tweeting and liking questionable tweets. Ed tweeted a quote that stated, Having hoes just don't excite me. I like being in love and ish. Ed replied, Them hoes don't give a F about me, and I don't give a F about them either. So stay out my way on God. This tweet right here had me raising my eyebrows. Ed stated, You know they real when shit goes left and they still stick around. Then today he tweeted again and stated, I know when a female loved the F out of a ninja, I watch my little sister spoil the F out of her BD, and I know females can be faithful. I watched her do it for years. That had me wondering, because you guys all know, Ed is really big on relationships and respect when it comes to females. He loves and cherishes his mother and his sister very dearly, and he has a lot of respect for Crystal. So maybe something happened, and Crystal didn't stick around. And the only thing we can think of is her birthday just passed. And maybe he just wasn't able to splurge on her the way she needed. He does have a child as well. I don't know. Y'all leave your comments down below and let us know what you think. Because Crystal was also on Twitter. And this is what I saw on her page. Drama free and in my zone. The biggest get back is getting some more money. Then she retweeted a post that stated, holeless and focused. And another post that stated, I'm not settling for crumbs. I want the whole cake. 
y'all fall out and expose i fall out and go ghost crystal tweeted our relationship with god is the most important thing we must prioritize you guys leave your comments down below and let us know what you think y'all think crystal and ed just tweeting and liking stuff or do you think they really broke up this time because you know they've been doing that, but yet they were still together the whole time. So you never know. I don't know. Leave your comments down below and let us know what you think. While we're on the topic of Crystal, the other day, Noomi was out with Crystal for her birthday and her and Jacob were getting real close. I went to the comment section and people stated, after what he did, girl couldn't even be near him. Every time I see Jacob's name, I just get the ick. Another commenter stated, you gotta tell Jacob no. Then someone stated i thought she was with la full ss someone responded back to that comment and stated she be with everybody he left her and was posting another girl recently you guys know the people in the comment section be knowing everything you guys go ahead and leave your comments down below and let us know what you think you guys all know flo and karina recently had a baby and you guys all know how it is when you first have a newborn so you guys all know sahari has been keeping them very busy from first doctor's appointment visits and so much more if you guys remember flo and karina were looking for a new apartment well they have finally moved in Flo took to instagram and stated last day moving in i'm hiring movers next time i'm too old for this ish it seems like him and karina may be ready to show off baby girl he took to instagram and stated show ya sahari tonight yes or no what did you guys end up voting yes or no are you guys ready to see baby girl you guys go ahead and leave your comments down below and let us know what you think look man so the boys finally meet man these are the stepbrothers. You got Chad and Aiden. Y'all ready to have fun? Yeah. All right, set up. We're going to see a flag. Turn up. Let go. Y'all see them headphones? Those are my recent my recent little posts in the closet. Those sitting on the counter. The bitch just made me so mad, bro. I just threw them out the window. So can somebody send me some headphones? I'm going to put my P.O. box on here soon. <laughs> Gas station stop. They lit. Yeah, we got another oh, you interesting vlog. I was looking for the Man, just eat your chips and dry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so y'all, this is how you change kids' life and stop them from being fooled by the government lies and everything. So I'm showing them right now. They all, and they all paying attention to y'all. They the one who want to read it more than me. I read it by myself. They're like, no, we want to know. So I'm showing them how NASA lied and made Earth seem like a, a, a spirit when it's not, you know? And they lied and said that we don't have a cover over us, which we have the firmament over us. I did. Not done. I got a manicure. A manicure, a manicure where man had clean nails. We don't get no colors and all that weird stuff. It's clear. She get the colors. Yeah, she get the colors. You go go get you a, a, a pedicure. They always got low or something. Yeah, we ain't doing none of that. But I'm showing them everything right now, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> so the kids, they the came, look, they didn't enjoy it. They held out the peach cob in the factory. Now they all look. That's how you know the little girl. But they can't even see it still. So now it's time taking the six blasts, man. We're going to have some fun. Now this is what they not going to expect because they with SAG right now. We have fun a little different way, you did. <laughs> yeah. All right, y'all. How did y'all like the uh, peach cob in the factory? Yeah. I don't know what I'm talking about. We're going to see some Hey, let's go have some fun. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, you want me to tell you why you fought it? Got everybody here got their nose hurt. I had a hoop dream, but Coach ain't want to put me in. So I said, you know what, Coach? Fuck the hoop dream. I'm just going to be rich. I quit. Hold on right quick. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on.